Hello, right, today we are doing the Tarn House walk around the lake. It's beautiful, I've just seen the lake, it looks really nice. Tarn House, there's a lovely little path that runs all the way around this lake. So there's a little track that goes around the lake leads off up there and goes right around the lake apparently not sure exactly how big it is now I think it's a 2.8 mile walk but we won't be doing nowhere near that around about a third of the lake and it's up there it starts to get quite steep in some sections so um Sarah's gonna head back to the car and I'm gonna go down and see if I can find some of the waterfalls which is just off a little track up there there's a little signpost it's so faded where it's so old. But it says Tom Gill Falls. And it's got arrow pointing this way. And it's down here somewhere. You can see that like this is like the start of it. But obviously you've got a I don't know if you've got to go left over there. Or have we got to go right? Don't know. Let's go over here and we'll see. Right, so I started over there, I took the right track, the track on the right, the one on the left didn't go anywhere, I, just, I thought it did because there's a little turnstile over there, but that leads off somewhere else. So we need to follow this little stream down, hopefully it will take us to some, some nice falls, I don't know how far they are, I don't know what they're like, I did see a photo of one of the falls on the Google images, where it is, how far it is, I don't know, but we're going to have to check it out. While I'm trying to navigate this, uh, these waterfalls, I just want to say that Lake District totally won me over. When it's raining today and it's still such a beautiful place, even when it's wet. So, uh, so I recommend it to anybody to come here, do your research before you head out to do anything because some of the places like this place where we're, where we're at now this lake super hard to find and we were driving and we kept coming to dead ends and all sorts so um yeah do research before you come but yeah 100 percent this is beautiful up here give it give it a look so it's quite um some of these rocks are quite slippery. Ugh. Teddy days, he'd do this walk 10 times over. Ugh. I'm trying to hold the camera and tackle these rocks. Pretty uneven. Really lovely, uh, lovely walk though. You just take it at your own speed. Some people will probably fly up here, but I can't. <laughs> well, I don't think this is the main bit. It's a little, little drop off. But it's quite cool. The path actually looks like it gets a bit better down here, so I'm gonna get moving on a bit. Yeah, it's turning into a proper path now. Oh, this is really nice for here. Big trees come down here. And it's like right across the waterfall. It's just sort of spoiling it, really. It's mother nature for you. I'll just walk down this little bit here. 
I'm not kidding you. I nearly went arse over tit on this rock. That is slippery. Just saved myself from falling flat on my ass. <laughs> Another nice section through here. Comes down. I'm gonna follow it back a bit further. I don't know if this is like if I've seen the main bits already or not. Little turnstile over here. Get through there, I'll just see what's around this corner. So just come through this turnstile here. Come all the way down from up the top there. The water comes around here down there and it is dropping down fast now it goes right down to the bottom over there so I'm going to go a bit further but obviously the further I go down I've got to walk back up so let's have a look and see what's down here I reckon we might get a nice view from down at that point over there get down there that's the main bit there it is it's beautiful it wasn't that far from, from the lakeside I'd say it was about two three hundred meters but it's all downhill and it's really slippery, rocky, lots of uh, tree roots, but it was worth it. So it comes down there, it goes down here. And it drops down a hell of a lot more, so I don't know if there's anything more down there. I suppose I better go and have a look. Oh yeah, the main the main bit I'm sure is that bit down there. It means I've got to walk right down to the bottom there. Let's go. I, I've got to see it. Come this far, I might as well. So you've got all these little streams that just yeah, get down this bit. All these little streams that look, are all running down into this canyon at the bottom. Let's get down there. There it is. I'm glad I kept going because this is obviously the main bit. There's that little stream that's coming down. All meeting at the bottom of there. They're still going off down there, but it doesn't look like there's any more dramatic falls like this one. Check that out. Ridiculous. There we go. There it is. You just can't get the scale of it from the camera. I reckon that's about 30 or 40 foot high. It's quite big. Really beautiful. So glad I'd come down here now because I would have missed that. Really beautiful. So I've got to walk back all up these stairs now. <laughs> back, to the, back to the lake, back to the car park. 
Got to go back up these stairs. It's quite rocky and that, it's dodgy. I've got decent boots on, so that helps. Hey, go on, Ted. <laughs> right, back up there now. Got to tackle all this. Oh, super slippery. Some guys there, they just got, they got them walking sticks. I reckon that they would have probably helped. Get your balance a bit better on these, on these rocks. Oh, here we go, come on. Talk about it, let's get there. Oh. Sometimes I look at the dog and I think it'd be handy to have an extra pair of legs. Spread my fat load. <laughs> He's breezing up it. Not even out of breath. Back up to the top now. <clears throat> Back to where we started at the lake. That was quite a trek. Back up there. Well, I keep going down to see what was there, and I'm glad I did because it was well worth it. We're coming back up to the lake here now. <sighs> the dog helps you going up the hills but he pulls you coming down the hills. And he put me off balance, so I nearly fell over a few times. Here we go, back to the lake. Woo! Oh, this lake is gorgeous too. Let me check that out. It's beautiful. <laughs> right, so I'm in grass, man, I'm at this, uh, famous grass mead gingerbread shop the ladies in there just sold me some I'll enjoy that later on there we go they're all dressed up in there as well I'll show you through the window they're all dressed up she's waving <laughs> there we go all right let's get home and try this gingerbread I'm not sharing mine, it's too expensive. 